So to start out, um, I really want to start with some affirmations, right? And the, the, this, uh, when you get into you know grassroots independent organizing, you're faced with a world that needs nearly total change and a lack of resources. So it really, really can be hard to take that first step. Um, it can really, really feel overwhelming. And that's that's not a, a failing, that's, that's by design of our system, right? Um, but when I wanted to start out with some affirmations to just kind of drive home the idea that you can, right? And so to start that off, no one needs permission to begin organizing in their communities you can do it right you don't need permission to start doing this you don't need if you're in a, a local green party or there is no green party um and you don't have that official structure to say yes let's do it you don't need that right you can start doing it if you have a local green party that's stagnated that's current membership isn't doing anything that's current membership is adverse to you know actually getting involved in community organizing um then just start doing it right and very quickly you'll like you can find yourself having enough people to influence it right all of a sudden they they're you know the the people who don't want to do the work are going to be faced with a get on the train or be left behind situation. So you don't need permission to start organizing in your own community. Um, I think it's really important to remember your own community, right? Don't go airdropping in on white horse into someone else's community. Start with yourself, start around, start in where you live. Um, good organizing is built first and foremost on trust and relationships. Uh, working class people rightfully don't trust politicians actions not words are what matters right when and i hear this every presidential cycle right if, if people would just vote because the green party platform is vote green because the green party platform is awesome we would have x result well the reality is the green party is a political party right and our platform is our political promises um and the working class has been lied to year after year cycle after cycle for decades and longer right and so we can't just expect people to take us at their at our word, right? Even if we really do mean our word, they've had a lot of people ask them to take them at their word. And at time, every single time they've been let down, right? So we have to build trust and real relationships with people in our community. That's how we grow. That's the key to us actually seeing, you know, becoming a viable alternative. Um, Kind of like what I said at the beginning, don't let yourself get overwhelmed, right? It's okay and, and pre pre it's preferred to start with one or two things and start with one or two things that are within your grasp, right? If you start organizing and your goal is to overthrow capitalism, man, like, right, we, we've really set ourselves up for a failure in that case, right? And that's not to say that capitalism shouldn't be overthrown or that organizing isn't the way to do it. But if that's goal number one, right? You're just staring up the cliff. There's no steps to lead you there. There's no ladder to climb. It's just a massive leap to the end goal. And so when you're getting started, um, pick some things that are accessible, pick some things that are important to your community, right? If you're interested in climate action, um, don't start with the COP28 countries and, um, you know, legislation to stop uh, you know, to, to meet scientific deadlines, which still say 2030, despite political deadlines moving well beyond that, right, in terms of when we need serious climate action, uh, when we get to when we need to get to that zero, uh, you know, emissions. Um, don't just so if you're into climate action, don't start with that, that those high level things start with something you, you can do in your community, right? Um, thinking about it in my community, businesses almost never recycle. And that's because me and me and the people you know the residents of our community actually have subsidized recycling um where our city helps pay and it's just part of our trash program but businesses aren't offered that right so that's something that's more attainable that you can get in talking to you know more progressive leaning businesses and get them on your side and you can have that win and once you get a win then things can really start snowballing so don't get overwhelmed don't start with too many things right you know we need to deal with things you know we need to deal with issues of peace we need to deal with issues of economic insecurity. We need to deal with issues of police violence. We need to be, deal with issues of colonialism. We need to deal with issues of workers' rights, right? I could keep going and going and going. When you're getting started, you can't address all of them. And there's an urgency that makes you feel like you need to address all of them, but you, you don't fall into that trap, right? Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Start with one or two accessible things and grow from there. Um, once you, you know, 
pick those one or two accessible things. Make sure you do the prep work and planning. If you're always shooting from the hip, it's hard to be effective, right? When, when Greens have a problem and uh, independent socialists have a problem of, um, you know, our hearts getting in the way of good organizing, we just have to act. We have to do something. And it, it means that we're just constantly shooting from the hip. We're constantly organizing on the fly. And that means that we're constantly organizing in an inefficient manner. Um, so we need to, you know, do that prep work, do that planning, make sure that you're thinking things through, decide on measures and metrics to determine if, the, if something is successful. And, you know, if you're talking about anything in the realm of electoralism with a third party or an independent campaign, that doesn't necessarily mean win, right? You can build up to that. Like we said before, you know, don't, Get overwhelmed don't start with your targets too high another good thing to remember is you're you know getting started and you're looking at what other people are doing there's no one method to organize if there was a way that did left you know independent socialist organizing we wouldn't be in the state we are right in a, as a society in the world right now the reality is none of us has figured it out we need multiplicity of tactics we need radical solidarity where, where we support each other but there's no one way to do it right learn and adapt ideas from others do what makes sense for you and your community and your goals right what environmental action looks like in somewhere like pittsburgh versus chicago versus you know rural uh, the rural plain states or the rural midwest is completely different um, so just because something's working somewhere else, that's not to say you shouldn't take it, but when you when you adapt, you need to adapt it to your local conditions. Um, and then, like I said earlier, there's very few resources on this. Uh, most are organized, oriented towards not-for-profits and advocacy group, groups. So don't be able to be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to ask for help. 